Hey folks, welcome back to the shed. Today we're gonna to show you how to connect your plasma cutter to your arc droid. Let's face it, the plasma cutter needs to be able to be turned on and off by the arc droid in order for it to do its job. So today we're gonna to show you how to connect them up so that works. There's basically two types of plasma cutters in the world. Those that have an external port for connection and those that don't. This one's fairly simple. You look at your man manufacturer's instructions and it'll tell you where to connect. And those two wires go to the arc droid. So this is a fairly generic plasma cutter. It does not have the external port for connection. However, it does have a way to turn on the, the plasma arc and that's the trigger. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this apart, find the wires that run that and splice those into the arc droid. So here we have the trigger, two obvious wires. These ones will turn the thing on and off. All right, now that I've confirmed I've got the right wires using my multimeter to travel down the whip and into the machine, what I've done now is I've simply spliced in in parallel. You don't want to disable your trigger, you just want to be able to have something that works the same. So two wires connected in parallel and I've tucked them out the front of the machine here so I can get at them later. And then the next thing you need is a piece of wire to connect to your arc droid. I like to use this 18 gauge shielded wire. It's actually pretty nice and reduces the chance of interference. And then something to connect to the back of the arc droid. All right, now your plasma cutter is connected to the arc droid. And the arc droid has the ability to turn the torch on and off. And at any time you can enable or disable that with a touch screen.